welcome back to the legend of heroes trails from zero where we last time started chapter three and want to now to take our look into what quests await us urgent quest missing doctor client receptionist sarah our own doctor Joachim Günther here at St. Ursula Hospital has gone missing please hurry and help us find him for more details, come to St. Ursula Hospital Reception Desk. Illegal Parking Crackdown. CPD Metropolitan Division. We expect illegal parking to be a problem during the anniversary festival. We'd like to enlist the aid of the SSS to help us crack down on it. Metropolitan Division Chief Lollick. Because we are very busy, please ask for me at the police headquarters. And many famous views of Crossbow. Client, the Crossbow Times. To celebrate the 17th anniversary, we've decided to publish a visitor's guide that describes many famous places in Crossbow. We would like to request photographs to be taken from around the state. For more details, talk to the receptionist at the Crossbow News Service in the Harbour District. My, this is a long quest. Important item retrieval from Warrant Officer Mireille. I request your assistance in the search for a lost item, if you please. For details, see Warrant Officer Mireille, the commanding officer of Belgard Gate. And Geofront B1 Sector Monster Extermination. A dangerous monster, Giant Rome, has been sighted in the Geofront B1 Sector. We ask that the Special Support Section deal with this threat swiftly. Good. Now what I in intend to do today is the illegal parking, the important items of the monster extermination and we start from many famous views, but this is a quest that we that you can only perfectly finish at a later moment, so we only started today. Word of warning, you're bound to be swimming in support requests during the anniversary festival. If you want to keep your head above water, focus solely on completing your request on the final day of the festival. Willing to bet HQ will bug me to come lend a hand, but that's my problem. I'll leave you guys to your duties. Roger. Um. Metropolitan Police first. Hi everyone! <laughs> I had a much needed day off yesterday. It's been a while since I got to spend some quality time with Noel. Oh yeah, of course you'd know Lloyd. We went to that concert together. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun, so thanks for inviting me. Ah, oh, what's this? Oh, I know what you guys are talking about. I was at a concert too, actually. I was dancing my ass off with some lovely ladies from St. Ursula Medical College. Please refrain from excessively indulging yourself, Randy. <laughs> Sounds like we missed each other. The whole department has to take on so many extra duties during the anniversary festival. I'm sure you guys will have a ton of more support requests too. Try not to overwork yourself, though. Hello, SSS. How are you doing today? I think it would be busier than past years, but this is too much. Yeah, I know how you feel. You seem just as swamped as us. Us police officers really do have our plates full during the festival. By the way, we received a support request from the Metropolitan Division. Is anyone from their department in right now? Oh, you mean the request regarding ticketing illegally parked cars? They're so busy, it seems they've been flying in and out of a building all day. I might be able to catch someone if I call now, though. Perfect. Could we ask you to do that for us? It would be most helpful. Yeah, let's knock this one out. Looks like we're in agreement then. Understood. I'll call them immediately. Feel free to wait in the conference room until they arrive. We've been waiting here an awfully long time. They must be pretty busy. Yeah, not much we can do about it. Festival must have been running them around like headless chickens. 
Hey, sorry about that. We all had our hands full for it, Big Bad. Sorry for making you guys wait. Don't worry about it. I'm the Metropolitan Division's Chief Yolik. And I'm Officer Kate of the same division. Thanks for lending us a hand, Special Support Section. Um, looks like we'll have to give a formal introduction this time around. I'm Lord Bennings of the Special Support Section, and these three are my colleagues. We know you're swamped with work, but would you mind explaining the details of the quest? No problem, allow me to explain. But first, I think that's enough of the formalities. I don't mind if we speak more casually now. Sorry, our chief likes to take things easy. Anyway, I think it, this was written in the support request. I'd like for you to ticket any illegally parked vehicles on the outskirts of town. This goes without saying, but everyone's short on hands during the anniversary festival. All we need you to do is jot down the car's license and slap a warning sticker on it for us. Is that really all you'd like for us to do? You don't need us to tow them? Yeah, don't worry about that. They're probably not getting anything more severe than a fine anyway. A lot of people drove in from the Empire or the Republic, so they don't know the parking rules. Probably would be too much. More importantly, you'll need to watch out for the cars that have parking permits. Parking permits? Yes, not every car is necessarily parked there illegally. Some of them obtain permits to park there beforehand, so you'll need to exercise caution. Cool. We'll keep our eyes peeled for the ones with permits. Okay, I think I understand the procedure. And I think I recall seeing four or five cars at the east and western exits of town. Let's go check both spots first. Indeed. Okay, let me give you this list of permit holders. And while you're at it, take this pack of warning stickers. We like to call this our Illegally Parking Enforcement Kit. Okay, got it. Please report to Rebecca once you've completed your, our request. Kate and I are going to hit the city, so we'll be gone all day. Understood. We'll give our report to Rebecca. Alright, we ready to go hit up those exits? Yes, let us be off. This was done a bit stupid, yeah. You have to check the car's license plate behind and put the sticker in front. The license plate is EW3100. Uh, no, we need to go on the event items, I think. No, books. A proof vehicle, please. EW. That is not here. Right? Ah, come on! EW31. Come on! Not hit it. Sticker. A Vern Company private car. The license plate is CZ3323. CZ 3323 is up there, first item. A Vern Company Orbital Truck. The license plate is a ZL1101. ZL1101 is the last entry. A Rainford Company Luxury Car. The license plate is ED0028. ED0028. Third, third last. Okay. And. Direct way out. A Vern Company luxury car. License plate is VE4310. I'm, I'm pretty 
certain that wasn't in here. PE 3310. Good that I looked because it's there. A one company Obel truck. The license plate is ES4521. ES4521 is allowed. CW6422. C CW isn't here. Right? Good. Then you get a sticker. CL1101. The last. Well, doesn't that look familiar? A one company double truck. License plate is LA5828. Alright, I think we checked all the, of the cars. Let's finish placing the remaining tickets so we can give our report. I don't think they were in a hurry, so it may be a good idea to check all of the cars one more time before we return. However, we are unable to remove any incorrectly placed stickers. Well, I don't think we have anything to worry about. That's LA5828. LA5828 is allowed, but... Did you notice it? CL1101? Hold on a second. CL1101. Wait, what? Didn't we see this plate number over at the east exit too? Actually, I think you're right. I don't think it was this type of truck though. It is against state regulation for multiple vehicles to share an identical license plate number. Yeah, Theodore's right. Gotta have a unique number or you're breaking the law. Probably a good idea to jot this plate down here. Yeah? Absolutely. We better report this to the Metropolitan Division later. So, Administrative District. Hey everyone, how's the request to ticket those illegally parked cars going? Please notify me once you're ready to hand over your report. I'll contact the Metropolitan Division for you. We're all ready to give our report. Could you contact them? Understood. I'll take care of it now. I apologize for the inconvenience. Do you mind waiting? Not at all. That's it for the report. Here's the list of license plates for any illegally parked cars. Mm. Oh wow, you even looked all the license plates and permits up for us. Yes, we were thorough, so I don't believe there were any mistakes. Many of the owners were from either the Republic or the Empire, so we had to be especially careful. Wow, you guys went that far for us? Honestly, I wouldn't have minded if you guys just rushed through it. That's typically how we do things, you know? What are you talking about, Chief? We take our job very seriously. Uh, oh yeah, I guess you do, huh? Uh, my bad. Anyway, it looks like we managed to write off one task from our to-do list. Thanks guys, this should give us a bit more briefing room. Right, allow me to give you my thanks. You can definitely count on the SSS to take care of your work, huh? Eh? I can't even escape the handyman treatment at that part of scannery. Hey Lloyd, shouldn't we tell them about the inconsistency? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. There was one thing. Oh, huh, what's wrong? We noticed something strange with the license plates. There were two cars that shared the same license plate number across both exits. I believe the license plate number was... CL1101 Wait, seriously? Could one of our plates be a forgery? Ah, I think I know what's going on. So you need to pay a fee to obtain a parking permit, right? 
but you get charged daily for most things, so it ends up costing a pretty hefty sum of Mira to park there the whole festival. Someone probably wanted to skip out on spring for two separate permits. Wow, what a cheap ass. I guess we should be glad it's not anything more serious than that, well, indeed. Okay, do me a favor and check this out for me. Yes, sir. Anyway, it looks like our job here is done. We'll be taking our leave now. If you ever need assistance again, the SSS will gladly tackle the case for you. Thanks, we'll be counting on you. The festival has been dumping loads of work on us, but let's keep up the hustle. Alright, then... The residential district, because there's the entrance to the B sector of a... Say it? Um Yeah, I take a shortcut. John, what's going on? Hey, you guys need something for me? Or do you get swept up by the festive mood and decide to stop by all the goodness of your heart? Haha, <laughs> I owe stuff is such a pain to deal with, I'd rather just avoid it personally. Besides, the festival has never really interested me. Don't even think about trying to drag me outside or something. Every time we stop by, you always have the same sour attitude. I see you're still hacking without a care in the world, too. Unbelievable. I thought you would be downcast after being annihilated yesterday. Don't act so cocky, Tio Plato. I'll beat you one of these days. Exterminate! Okay, what are you? You are a giant drone. A giant mollusk that manipulates electrical arts. Sports impressive regenerative abilities. Dark Attendant. A Molos monster made of mucus. It launches parts of its body to blind foes. Ow. Um. The weaknesses were. Earth and fire. And you have a weak to everything? Maybe just get rid of the goons first? Call more allies, okay. Maybe not get rid of the goons or... Oh well, might have used them.
anything about it. Super recovery! allies Just get it. I hope not, but Twenty-four, 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 twenty-four. Randy learned war cry. Five eye drops, clear gelatin, and a U material. Exterminate the monster completely. Good. What was the what were the other quests? Other famous views and. Famous uses harbor. Welcome to the Crossman News Service. How may we help you today? Hello, we have a special support section. We're here to follow up on the support request you submitted. Oh, it's nice to meet you all. Thank you for coming. The person responsible for submitting the request wanted to explain it to you in person. Do you mind? Is now a good time? Sure. Yeah, we're fine to help you out right now. Wonderful. In that case, could you please head up to the second floor? I call the one who submitted the request and let her know you're here. Okay, sounds good. Guess we should head upstairs. Hello, Grace. Hello, hello, my wonderful friends from the special support section. 
it, it's you, Grace? Why am I not surprised? You guys are the absolute best. That scoop early was exactly what I was looking for. I know I can always count on the valiant SSS. Always a smooth talker. You do realize that our job is not to provide you with stories, right? This situation was quite messy, but I'm a little relieved that the article was primarily sympathetic towards grandfather's struggles. Well, I'm kind of barred from writing pieces on the Imperial faction, so it wouldn't be fair if I only criticized Mayor McDowell, right? And besides, your grandfather's popularity with his citizens is off the charts. Heck, I like the old guy myself. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this as a journalist, but I really try to cut the guy some slack when I can, you know? Thank you, Grace. It's fine to sympathize with him a little, isn't it? Reporters are people too, after all. More importantly, Grace, would you please proceed with an explanation of what your support request entails? Sheesh, I figured you'd really act like that. Anyway, let me give you a rundown. You probably got the gist of it from the initial request, but I'll give you some more details. The Crossbow Times is aiming to publish an additional issue meant to act as a tour guide. And your best friend Grace is leading the charge. Isn't this my most fabulous idea ever? <laughs> Gotta admit, I'm on board. Please continue, Grace. Right, uh, so I'd like for you all to go take photos to use in the magazine. I want you to get the snazziest shots you can of Crossbow's most popular sightseeing spot. Monsters roam the highway, so we aren't the most suited to go straight into the front lines to get some great action shots, you know? True. However, I have my reservations as to whether any of us are qualified for the job. We cannot guarantee the level of quality you require with the photographs we take. Rain is already busy enough, thanks to how crazy the anniversary festival is. He's usually my right hand photographer, but alas. I've prepared a nice little memo for you guys that outlines all the best tourist spots to take photos. I'm counting on you to bring some fantastic shots. As long as at least one of you has the tiniest bit of experience handling a camera, then I think we manage. I suppose it would be me. What, seriously? You have experience taking photos, Ali? Ah, news to me. Curious, I would believe one would need to use an orbital camera for some time to master it. Well, it was a hobby of mine while I was studying abroad. Of course, it's been quite some time since when I've probably gotten a bit rusty at it. It'll get the job done, trust me. It's still better than being completely green. Well, now that we've resolved that issue, are you feeling up to the task? Yeah, we should be good to go. We accept your request, Grace. Oh, my heroes. Well then, here you go. So, all we need to do is find scenic spots around Crossbell and take some photos with his camera, right? Bingo! I better not find any scratches on it when you bring it back, okay? Alright, there's one more thing I'd advise you to be cautious of. And what's that? The Obonian border can be seen clear as day from Belgard Gate, as can the Cavadian border from Tangram Gate. It's a huge no-no to include any picture of them in our magazine, so please do try and avoid snapping any shots of them, okay? Is it due to political tension? Never no, had Ellie. Circumstances on our side prohibit, uh, prohibit us from using them too. Okay, so taking any photos of a border is a no-go. Anything else we should know? Yep, I'm setting a minimum quota of five photos to submit. Feel free to take more than that if you can, of course. We're going to publish it at the end of the festival, so go ahead and take your time finding all the best spots. After all, the more photos you can take, the more it will help us on out in the long run. Mm, yeah, that's about it for now. Understood. When you've wrapped everything up, when you've when you've wrapped everything up, just let our receptionist know and she give me a ring. Well, anyway, back to work I go. I'll be eagerly awaiting your results. <laughs> Some people never change. Man, she'd be a solid ten if personality wasn't part of the equation. She certainly can be a bit too animated at times. It's a mystery to me where exactly she gets all her boundless energy from. Well, regardless, it seems she managed to skillfully redirect all her busy work onto us. Yeah, it's all good. Didn't sound like she was in too big of a hurry for photos. Long as we remember to take photos as we are out and about on our rounds, we should be just fine. True enough, and trusting the photography to Ellie will ensure that this request will be completed with ease. 
But please lower your expectations. It was just a small hobby of mine. I'm sure you will be fine, Ellie. Let's just make sure to remember to take some photographs whenever we come across a scenic spot. Um, West Coastal Highway. Belgard Gate. What in the world is this? Ah, was this here the other day? Let's take a little peek, shall we? Wendy, is something wrong? This thing is one of the CGF's armored cars. Why is it here? On top of that, they went so far as to conceal it with this tarp. Conceal is a bit much, it's barely hiding the thing at all. In fact, this half after attempt to hide the thing only makes it more conspicuous. Oh yeah, didn't we get a support request from someone at Belgard Gate? Maybe this armored car has something to do with it. I believe that the request was to search for a lost item. And as for the client, it was a warrant officer Mirei. Mirei, she's the worst with blonde soldier we met before, right? Yep, that's right. She may be busy with work, but we should try asking her about the request. Perhaps you could casually bring up the armored cast, if you're so interested in it. Good idea. Alright, let's pay her a visit. Oh, come on, it couldn't have just up and disappeared. If I don't find it soon. Yo, Mirei, how's my favorite CGF soldier doing? Nice to see you again, warrant officer. Randy, and the rest of the special support section? What are you four doing here? Oh wait, it's about the support request I submitted, isn't it? I've been in such a rush I nearly forgot about it. Oh, um, uh, that's alright, I'm sure you must have been swamped with your work. <laughs> Classic Mirei. She puts on a serious face, but she's really not all there. Excuse me? Someone like you has no way to say that to me. Let's try to settle down, shall we? I know it's sudden, but would you mind explaining the request to us? The CGF wouldn't be coming to us for help unless it really needed it, so I've been curious to learn the details. Ah, yes, that's correct. Forgive me for losing focus for a moment. Uh, so, we've been searching the premises here at Belgrade Gate for a certain crucial item that's gone missing. Normally, finding it would be our top priority, but as you can see, we're running short on manpower during the anniversary festival. That's why we decided to ask for some assistance in the matter. I think I understand the situation. So what exactly are we looking for? It's the key to the armored car that the Guardian Force has just deployed. It's one of the newer models. A new model? I've only heard rumors about it, so I take it that it has finally been deployed? I fail to understand how he could have lost something so valuable. Let me guess, the commander? I suppose that wasn't a hard guess. It wasn't? How so? Well, it started yesterday. The commander threw an exclusive party to ring in Crossbow's 17th anniversary. Over the course of the night, the commander drank much more alcohol than he should have. And then he had one of the soldiers drive our new armored car to his party. Must have been trying to win over the higher off by showing off his new shiny ride. How very tasteless. Once the commander returned and had the car parked inside the gate, he snatched the key from the driver. And later it just uh, vanished from his possession somehow. Now that we can't move the car, we had no choice but to put a tarp over it in a last ditch effort to conceal it. I was wondering what that was doing outside. But was that really your best move? The tarp almost makes it even more conspicuous. Well, if I left the car as is, it would probably raise a lot of questions that I don't wish to answer. For example, why exactly is the CGF's new heavy duty armored car actively deployed inside the border gate? If the Imperial Army took it as a threat, I'm not sure we'd be able to reason with them. You can't be serious. 
At the very least, we'd like to avoid any provocation at all cost. Is this new model really all that? The armored cars we were using before were pretty top of the line in terms of defense and mobility, if I remember right. Trust me, it is. The new model is an upgraded, more combat-oriented version of our old cars. It's equipped with Vulcan cannons, miniature missile ports and has seen an entire overhaul when it comes to its base firepower. If you inspected the CGF's entire arsenal, it would easily come out on top, no doubt about it. Gotcha, I agree with you then. Leaving that out on the open sounds a bit too dicey. So, where exactly is that oh so wonderful commander right now anyway? This is still his office, ain't it? It is, he's just... Away at the moment. He headed out this morning, left us to sort out this mess. He said he couldn't possibly call off all the sorays he was hosting for a festival. And flake out on Crossbell's top elite? I think not. Ch sounds like him, alright. The more I hear about this commander, the less I'm eager to meet him. Anyway, uh, we really want to move an armored car out of the public eye ASAP. Uh, will you help us find the key? We'd be happy to help, Warren Officer. Willy, thank you very much. Now, would you mind helping us retrace the commander's steps? Did he mention anything that might give us any leads? Let me think. If you'd like to hear what I was able to get out of him this morning, I would be more than happy to share. That should suffice. When the commander returned, he had the armored car parked right inside of a gate, and he took the key from the soldier driving. And then I imagine he was craving a light snack to wash down all that alcohol. So he stopped by the mess hall and had one of the crooks make him some food. Afterwards, he waltzed up to the roof and sung his heart out for uh, quite a while. Once he finally tired himself out, he realized he had no idea where the key had gone. He sounds like a proper drunk. I think it's a miracle that he made it up to the rooftop at all, given his condition. Just another day in the life of that deadbeat. From what we just heard, we know for a fact that the key was lost while he was gallivating around the gate. And if that's the case, we shouldn't have to worry about searching anywhere other than Belgard Gate. I agree, Ellie. Alright then, we should perform a sweep of a general area first. Who knows, we might find some clues or, with luck, the key. Want of a summer way, would you like to accompany us on our search? I'm afraid not. I feel like I would just get in the way if I came along. I'd still be doing what I can to find it though, starting with tearing up the commander's office. Don't worry about the thing, even in the most desperate of situations. You can always count on old Randy to help you out of a pinch. Jeez, I really am counting on you, Randy. So I hope you can live up to that big talk. We should go ahead and commence on a search for the key. Let's start by checking the armored car itself. So according to Mirai, the commander parked the car here and it hasn't been moved since. I'd say we should search the area for the key, but I assume the CGF would have found it if it was actually here. That's a good point. It would be a waste of time to search the area again. Besides, if the car has those bulky Vulcan cans on top, we can't exactly remove the top to take a closer look. Damn, I kinda wanted to see this baby in all its glory. Randy, have you ridden an, an armored car like this before? This model should be a modified edition of a conventional armored car, so it should feel largely the same. Nah, that's just something I'm kinda curious about. If I got permission to use them, I'm sure they'd be super nice for patrols and stuff like that. I bet no will die of happiness. <laughs> I think you might be right. Ah, looks like we have visitors from the Empire. Let's go check it out. Or a limo? It appears to be a Reinford limousine custom made. Who owns this? Wait a second. Oh, if it isn't the fine ladies and gentlemen of a special support section. Good day, everyone. I trust that Crosper's been treating you well. Uncle Dieter? It's been a while, sir. <laughs> it has indeed. You'll have to forgive me. Did my arrival get in the way of your duties? Not at all. The guy's suave as ever, I see. Are you returning from a business trip by any chance, sir? 
That's right, negotiations on the Empire. But that aside, um, I can't help but ask about that great big thing sitting behind you. I guess it's hard not to notice. It's kind of a long story. I see. Allow me to make an educated guess then. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it must be one of a CGF's new armored cars or something like that, right? How did you... <laughs> did I catch you off guard? There's a simple explanation, I assure you. You see, at the party I attended yesterday, I ran into the CGF commander. He in his drunkenness mentioned something about a very car to one of his subordinates, I believe. I've sat with him at multiple parties now, and I do really think he should work on that drinking problem of his. That answers that. You must have left for the Empire directly after the party, correct? And if that's the case, you might have a clue we're looking for. Huh? What exactly do you mean? Allow me to explain. I think I'm starting to understand. That would certainly explain why there's an armored vehicle with mounted guns just sitting in the middle of a high traffic area. However, I'm afraid I won't be of much help to you all. Like I said earlier, I had negotiations with the Empire today, so I had to leave a party early in order to make it on time. In other words, by the time the commander made it back to Belgard Gate, I was already long gone. Jeez, what a bummer. Guess all we can do is stick to retracing his steps. This may be presumptuous of me to ask, but can I give you a piece of advice I was given by Bell a long time ago? Maria Bell gave you advice. Again, it was many, many years ago, and I had the habit of losing things. There were just so many projects I had to keep track of that I couldn't help but misplace a document here or there. Really? I would never have guessed that, judging by how, how you act now. <laughs> I, f I feel like that part of it had to do with my still being young and inexperienced at the time too. Anyway, every time I would lose something, Belle would always be there to find it for me. And each time she would let out a great big sigh and tell me this. Father, how many times do I need to tell you? When you lose something, you have to look where you'd least expect it to be. Search the unexpected places. Well, I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. In short, Bell was simply trying to tell me to change my perspective. Though I don't know how useful you all will find this advice, of course. No, sir, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know if I've been much help, but I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh dear, I seem to have gotten carried away with our conversation. I think my car might be a bit of a nuisance sitting in the middle of a gate like this. If you'll excuse me. Oh, have a safe drive home, sir. Thank you, sir. Until we meet again, SSS. Never change that guy. You know, he gave us some pretty valuable advice. Change our perspective, huh? That's definitely something we forgot to think about. It might be the key to finding this, um, key. Now then, let's keep retracing the commander's steps and see where that takes us. I believe Warren Officer Murray told us that after the commander parked the car, he went to the mess hall. Yeah, let's take our investigation there. Yo, Stella, keeping yourself busy? Huh, Wendy? Funny seeing you here. Were you wanting to order something? Not exactly. We are searching for the armored car's key as per Warrant Officer Murray's request. Oh, so you guys are the ones who got stuck with that? The Warrant Officer already asked me to look around. I comped over the mess hall high and low, but it's nowhere to be found. I suppose we can mark the mess hall of our list then. We are in the process of retracing the commander's steps. Do you mind recounting what you witnessed last night? Sure, I don't mind. The first day of the anniversary festival was incredibly hectic here. I was finally winding down from the craziness of the day when the commander stormed in here, utterly wasted. All of a sudden he yelled at me to cook something that would sober him up so I had to do some forced overtime. And because of that I wasn't able to get around to, to any of the prep work I needed to do for today. Wow, he sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, for sure. Guy swaggers around like he owns the place, but doesn't do a lick of actual work. He sounds like he's the complete opposite of Deputy Commander Bales. 
Excuse me, would you know if he had a key on him while he was eating his meal? Beats me. I only heard about it being lost when I woke up this morning, so I'm afraid I wasn't really paying attention. Is that so? Hmm, there's no way of knowing whether he had the key here or not. What's everyone doing gathered around in the mess hall? Good timing, Beyond. These people are helping the CGF recover that key or whatever. Nice to meet you. We have a special support section. Oh yeah, I heard about you all. Nice to meet you too. Hey, Beyond. Still the same military buff as always? Afraid so. It's been a while, Wendy. So, Beyond, did you end up finding the key? You know, the one the warrant officer told us about? After giving it a quick search, I can safely say that it isn't in the inn. I'm pretty sure the commander didn't bother heading there after his meal anyway. Sorry, but what do you mean by pretty sure? Weren't you at the inn last night? I imagine you would know whether he came in or not, right? I'd finished my work for the day by then, so I was actually taking a break up on a roof when he got back. Wait, hold on. Did you remember something? Yeah, I passed him as he, I was leaving the roof. And if I'm not wrong, I remember him spinning around something that looked like a keychain. That must have been the key you are looking for. Then that means it's extremely likely that the commander had the key until he headed up for the roof after leaving the mess hall. It bothers me that you would act so nonchalant with something so important. I certainly agree, but at least we picked up a valuable statement. Ah, <laughs> good thing that memory of yours finally cracked in, huh? Better late than never, right? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Do you realize how much time I wasted searching the mess hall because of you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I think it's about time for me to head back to work. See you later, Stella. <sighs> he ran. Well, thanks to him, we finally got ourselves a solid lead. Thanks for all your help, too, Stella. Randy's right. Even though you only knew it was in the mess hall, that narrowed down our list of potential hiding places significantly. Huh, you're welcome. I'm not really sure how important this key is. But please find it, not just for the CGF's sake, but for Warren Officer Mirais. We do our best, I promise. Now is our next destination the roof? Well, we made it to the roof. According to Warren Officer Mirais, the CGF commander sung his heart out up here. I imagine it took a while to climb the stairs while he was under the influence. Yes, but our biggest issue is that he doesn't remember where exactly he misplaced the key. If we were to lose it anywhere, this would be the place. Let's try searching for a while and see where it takes us. Last night the commander came up here and couldn't stop singing. Loudly, I might add. I was hoping to get some rest from our labors, but that didn't happen. You think the key's up on the roof? Huh, Dali and I searched the entire roof front to back, but came up zilched. Uh, but hey, we might have overlooked something. I hope you have better luck searching than we did. Uh, just a little of a juice can? Yeah, we can throw this away. What's this tiny object? Oh, it's just a 10 mirror coin. That tunnel leads into Erebonia, right? That's right. More specifically, the tunnel and the fortified mountain base up ahead both comprise Guerrilla Fortress. As the Empire's easternmost stronghold, it's used to keep Calvert in check. Seeing it this close, I cannot help but feel incredibly intimidated by the Empire. I <laughs> can't blame you for feeling that way, Tia Dot. After all, that mountain's hiding two of the Empire's scariest weapons, the railway guns. Railway guns? I feel like I've heard of them somewhere before. I'm sure you have. They have a pride and joy of the Imperial Army, their ultimate weapon of mass destruction. 
Heard those bad boys fire 80 regis shells. Interesting. So these are the battle weapons developed by the Reinfort Company. Two years ago, tensions between the Empire and the Republic had finally reached a breaking point. While both countries began to conduct large-scale military exercises, the wall over there opened, revealing their two enormous railway guns. Weapons which have a capacity to hit across the city. If Erebonia were to unleash them, tragedy would be unavoidable. The Crossbow Times never once mentioned these while I was living in Calvert. I never knew things were that unstable at the time. Well, as you can see, they've got the trump card stored away right now. We might over rebellion Queen's non-aggression pact to thanks for that. Definitely. I'd always heard that she was an admirable person, but I have a newfound respect for her now. It looks like we got sidetracked. We should continue our search for the key. Is that why? Just where in the world could this key be? I don't see it anywhere. Well, at the very least, we know for a fact that the commander was up here. True, but we may have made a mistake to assume that he dropped the key on the roof. If that were the case, the guardsmen would have found it immediately. Considering what Mr. Croix told us earlier, we might need to change our perspective on this entire thing. It's only a possibility. But what if a key fell into a place that we can't normally reach? Let's investigate every nook and cranny of this place one more time. Huh? Lloyd? What's the matter? I see it! How the hell did it end up in a place like that? Given its true location, I'm not surprised that they are unable to find the key no matter how much they scoured the gate. For now, let's let the foreign officer know. We should be able to reach it with a ladder. Hopefully, they have one around here we can borrow. Right, let's go find her. I think you're looking for this. Randy handed the key to the armored car over to Mirai and explained how they found it. It seriously ended up in a place like that? I never would have found it then. What probably happened is that your commander dropped it while you were singing on the roof. Ah, that aside, I'm just relieved that we are able to find it. Thanks to you, we can finally move the armored car someplace where tourists won't stumble across it. Guess I'm in your debt this time, Randy. Don't worry about it. But if you really want to make things even, how about going on a date with me? It would be a good time. I don't know what I was expecting. Idiots never change, do they? Well, thank you for everything, SSS. You're welcome. If you ever need anything from us, all you have to do is submit a support request. I'll keep that in mind. Now, if you excuse me... Okay, it's closed, huh? I suppose so. I wasn't sure we would find the key for a second then. If a stranger picked it up, I don't know what we would have done. Considering that was dropped, I'd say we got lucky. I'm inclined to agree. Incidents like this could be avoided if a commander was a bit more observant. He's always been an incompetent jackass who only thinks about himself, even back when I was stationed here. But if he didn't find that key, Mirai probably would have taken the heat for losing it. That man is hopeless. No denying that. Still, at least we know that there are people like the deputy commander, the warrant officer, doing honest work in the CGF. I'd like to think that most of the guardsmen are following suit, despite everything. Good point, Lloyd. Well, time to head out? Yeah, let's go. Alright, but with that I end this episode. And, uh... I there will be exploration next, and then um, I guess we do this um, 
doctor quest here. Missing doctor. As I said, as I said the photo thing will take a while. Until next time, man. I'm Mace, and don't get lost.